Wow, oh my god. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oke, okay, I'm gonna open it first. Hai semuanya, jadi seperti yang pernah aku janjikan waktu itu kalau aku mau menginterview salah satu karyawannya suami aku. Jadi, um, jadi kemarin kita waktu itu ke Batam dan kita mampir ke kampung Vietnam. Um, terus kita iseng-iseng nih aku sama suami melihat foto-foto uh, para pengungsi dari kampung Vietnam tersebut dan ketemu uh, fotonya Mr. Tan di situ nggak sengaja padahal itu banyak banget foto-fotonya tapi kita dengan gampangnya atau mudah menemukan foto tersebut jadi aku sangat sangat antusias benar-benar pengen menginterview Mr. Tan untuk mengetahui cerita dan pengalamannya beliau sebelum sampai ke Amerika beliau dulu adalah mantan pengungsi Vietnam yang pernah mampir ke Pulau Galang di Batam di Pulau Galang tepatnya jadi ini aku akan menginterview uh, namanya Mr. Tan Hai Mr. Tan Hai. nah jadi kita akan menginterview dengan singkat ceritanya kisah-kisah beliau dulu pernah sampai ke Pulau Galang dan juga akhirnya sampai ke Amerika dan menjadi warga negara Amerika dan beliau adalah salah satu karyawan suami yang sangat um, telaten kerjanya baik juga rajin jadi kita akan mulai saja menginterview Mr. Tan uh, So Mr. Tan, in which state did you initially arrive? I, I arrived in the Oregon state jadi Mr. Tan-nya sampai di Oregon State namanya. And in which year did you arrive? I arrived on the 1982. Oh, you arrived in 1982 when I was born. Jadi uh, Mr. Tan sampai di Amerika pertama kalinya itu di Oregon State dan di tahun 1982. And then when did you become citizen? I became Uh, citizen in the 1987. Oh, so after five years, yeah. did you choose the USA or another country? Yes, I did. I chose American. And what was your reason for choosing the USA? I chose American because American is the free and tolerant to the free fuzzy. And Mr. Tan, what was the circumstances that made you become a refugee? I lived in South Vietnam when North Vietnam occupied the South. The North Vietnamese governor derived us of basic human rights and the embracing people who work for South Vietnam, including my family. What is your family and how did they react to you being a refugee? My family was still in Vietnam when I internally arrived in the United States. They were happy to hear the news that I arrived to United States and the rented asylum. And at what age did you become a refugee? I was 22 years old when I became a refugee. And Mr. Tan, what was the journey you took to get to the island? I left Vietnam on the small bus, 11 meter bus with the roof of 37 people on board. We travel across the Pacific Ocean for three days and three nights until we arrived to Subi Island. We were become by the Indonesia government to stay for the few days. We were proud to pull out Kuku to start to refuge. Procedure before move to the Galang Island. How long did you remain at Galang Island? I stay at the Galang Island for a month. 
when you arrived in Galang, what work did you do? Did you work as farmer or some other work? I have fixed temporary shelter for the Vietnamese refugees stay at the Galan Island. Now the war has finished and people are living in peaceful, right? Do you still have painful memories, Mr. Tan? They are time, voice, I think back to the traumatic past of being a refugee and the living under watching full eye of the North Vietnamese government. I try to forget the past of remind myself the doof time are over now. Thank you to everyone for allowing me into your life to hear the story or your danger journey as a refugee. And your eventual arrive to Galang Island. When I visited Galang Island, the stories that you told me flooding back and I could picture how hard it must have been back then for you and your family. I'm so happy that your life has not changed in good way and you are now happy living in the USA with both of your children having graduated from university and now have a good job working for the state. Wow! And it's also inspiring me to hear that you are in good health and still working. You show great strength in both mind and body. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your time interview me and uh, I am thankful for the country Indonesia and United States for sponsor my life and my family. Jadi teman-teman sudah dulu um, interview singkatnya aku bersama Mr. Tan dan semoga interview kita ini membawa informasi buat kalian dan menjadikan uh, pelajaran untuk kalian semuanya jangan patah semangat dan kita tidak tahu hidup kita bagaimana kedepannya yang penting kita berusaha dan berdoa semoga ini menjadi inspirasi buat kalian dan terima kasih sudah menonton videonya aku jangan lupa videonya di like, comment, share dan subscribe terima kasih. Thank you, Mr. Tan.